Michael Levine. Um, so I'm sure you're familiar with the Red Queen hypothesis. Um, running as fast as you can in order to stay in place in biology. You have to adopt, you know, adopt very advantageous traits. You have to run faster. You have to run faster to catch your prey, but then your prey has to run faster in order to run away from the predator. Um, do you think that since there's nothing to stop the spread of smugness, um, that we're going to run into sort of some, some sort of Red Queen thing where people will just become more and more smug, but then where is the future leading us to peak exactly? Smugs. Yes, peak smugness is there. So, so I believe there could be the risk of a smug apocalypse. Uh, <laughs> so this, this situation was once described in a great dystopian work. Um, it was a South Park episode <laughs> where they proposed, they proposed that one day LA could become so smug that it would cause a natural disaster. I believe this was a very accurate prediction. Your model postulated the evolution of a smug gene. I'm wondering what evidence you have it's genetically encoded instead of culturally inherited. Yeah, so I think there could be a, a whole smugome of smug factors. <laughs> so there could be, it could be genetic, epigenetic. It could also be by the form of memes. Now, as I suggested, the internet is a, a very good way to increase your smugness. It is also an incredibly good way to transmit memes. I don't believe that is a coincidence. So I think that actually, because it's so important for us to be smug, we've developed many, many traits uh, to be smug, and it would actually be interesting to dissect all of them. Um, so, so you mainly focused on the parents, uh, basically, leading to more uh, academically gifted uh, children. Um, I was wondering if there was also implications for professors. Um, as uh, I... I, I would argue that uh, all professors, at least 72% of professors, uh, would, would believe themselves to be great professors, and therefore, obviously, the students would have learned all the knowledge effectively, so thus, therefore, great inflation is an evolutionary development. So I think great inflation could definitely be a, a way of recognizing smugness. However, from what I know about MIT, there's uh, quite a bit of great deflation, so I think that might be in conflict with that. You speak about smugness in among parents. Would you therefore say that smugness among the child-free is a spandrel of sorts? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that Smugness, we, as children, we are smug. Um, all children are smug. But it might be just anticipate for anticipation of being older. Um, although I'm sure there's many benefits of being a smug child. For instance, you generally become the leader of the group. So there's probably a lot of uh, reasons why children would also be smug. But I think the only evidence that I've seen is that it affects them at the level of parents. And because it's the only evidence I've seen, I have to conclude that I'm right. <laughs> Michael Levine. <laughs>